Hi, I'm here today again with Baron Roth of Grow Design, and he's going to talk to us about uh, responsible sourcing in biopolymers. Thanks, so. Mark. Um, wanted to bring up an issue that has been uh, on our minds recently. We have a terrific uh, client that we're working with, uh, Elemental Herbs, and they have been very proactive and have really uh, not needed any convincing at all of the uh, issue of GMO um, materials. Uh, we're designing some packaging for them which should be available next year um, and in the development of this more environmentally friendly packaging we have been looking for uh, polymers or biodegradable polymers that do not contain any genetically modified organisms. Uh, GMO is uh, an unfortunate gamble that our country has uh, made without understanding the, the consequences. The European Union has chosen the opposite approach, let's be safe rather than sorry. Uh, and we think that it's important to uh, make everyone aware of the need to start sourcing more of the biodegradable polymers that do not contain any GMO. And there's some out there. They're a little bit more difficult to find, but the companies that are doing it are bragging about it. And we want to uh, just let everyone know that it does exist and that you just have to do a little bit of digging. Uh, one of the common uh, responses that we get when we start asking about this is that there's no genetically modified material in the final product, which uh, is important if there was any concern about leaching from the product into your, your skin. But that's not the issue. That's the issue when it, it's concerning food. We don't know the consequences of eating food that has uh, GMO in it um, fully. But when it comes to products, that's not the real concern. What we don't want to do, what we don't want to do is to continue to support the farming industry that is so dependent on GMO. And so it's not the finished product that we're necessarily concerned about. What we're concerned about is the feedstock that goes into making the biodegradable polymers. So uh, how can we avoid using GMO corn and increasing the demand for GMO corn by specifying this biodegradable PLA that we know was used with PLA, uh, with, uh, with GMO corn. So that's what we're really trying to uh, let people know that uh, it's one, an important issue to be concerned with and that they should educate themselves about the importance of not using GMO. And then two, that there are some options available and we want to help support those and help grow that aspect of the biodegradable polymer industry. Great. Well, thank you very much, Baron.